Hi everyone and welcome back to Colouring with Kay and thank you for joining me today. So this is hopefully the last part of um, the sort of um, colouring in Johanna Basford's Worlds of Wonder. So that's the book and what it looks like at the front and um, yeah I'm hoping to finish this today. There's not that much to do. So what I wanted to do first is um, sort of show you the blends I used for these bushes. I thought I'd do a little bit of pencil work on camera a little bit more because I only um, I didn't show how I coloured the trees too much last time. So the blends I'm using for the bushes, uh, you may not have these pencils, these are the Lyra Grooves. So um, in fact I'll bring you in a little bit see the bushes a little bit closer. Move my book up. So um, we have the 071, 068 and 059. So these are what the Lyra grooves look like. Um, they're budget pencils, they're fairly hard. Um, it could be purchased on Amazon um, but they are really nice I do like them so I hope everybody is okay so this is a bit like a colour and chat slash colour along um, so I just usually put the lightest colour down first and then um, middle colour so this is the second lightest colour or the second darkest whichever way you want to look at it <coughs> excuse me and then the darkest colour and like I say these pencils are fairly hard but they're very nicely pigmented and I just like using them it's actually um, quite nice putting them down on paper then I go back to the middle colour And then the lightest colour to go over it all again. There's nothing really special I'm doing here in terms of pencil technique at all. It's, um, you know, nothing special. Okay, then I have these trees that you can see here. Um, I've done them over here at the top. As you can see, I used two different blends just to give it a bit of contrast. So the darker one is um, two polychromous pencils. And then these lighter green ones are actually the Brute Funas. So I'm going to show you the blend, the blends that I used for that. Just because I didn't do it on camera for um, in the second part. So the Brute Funa 080, 081 and 076 is what I'm using. So I start again with the 076 is it you just have to check yeah which is the lightest color so we'll bring you in a little bit more and move this over so i've got a bit more space so there we go so yeah i think i'm going to do this bit i like how these trees are drawn they remind me of when I was younger, which was a long time ago, um, how I used to draw trees is to draw them like like this. So yeah, just um, medium pressure going over it. And actually, um, I know I said in part two that the Brute Funas square pencils are not you know, working as well as, say, the polychromos. I think I got used to them because it was the first time I was using them on this paper. I sort of didn't get the hang of it. And then um, I think they work really nicely on this paper. So, yeah, I'm just going to put the middle colour in now, which is the Brute Funa Pencil 081. So yeah, I hope everybody is doing well. Um, it's 
nice sunny weather here in Britain but um, still very cold, temperatures are quite low so last darkest colour we have is 080 I don't know if you can see that I'm just going to put that here at the base where the branches are So hoping to show you, you know, the glittering stages or glitterification stages, <laughs> making up words now, um, which mostly I leave to the end. Although you can see with the background I did put in the glitter stuff. Go back to the lightest colour now and just go over it. So like I say there's nothing special when it comes to me working with pencils. I'm very average. Okay and so that's the Brute Funas or the Brutes and then I'm going to use the um, two polychromos for the other little bit which is going to be these two pencils. So they are the Polys um, 172 and 165. So I'm just going to put my close reading glasses on. 172 is the Earth Green. So that's the 172 Earth Green. And then you have the Juniper Green which is 162. Five. Okay, so the light one first, so the 172 first. And actually there is one more pencil which I did use, which I didn't mention, but decided to use afterwards, was just for the white highlights. So I used the Holbein white, not the soft white, just the white. So yeah, just going over it like this. There we go. I'm just going over and over it, like layering it up. And then just where the two colours merge together, I'm going over with the light. And I'm leaving the top bit still quite pale. So I'm going to go in with my Holbein... Um, white which is 500 I'm just going to put that right on the edges like that which I did with these bits as well so okay and then um, the trunk of the tree was just done with if I remember yes the brute funas again and that was um, 020, 021 and 023 so I will link all of these below so these are the colours that you've got for those that I said so firstly 020 I just put that in there I haven't even fully decided what I'm going to do with the remaining parts of the picture. Got a bit of an idea for some parts, but there's lots of little bits and pieces. So yeah, I've just done a light to medium layer of that. And the next pencil is the Brute Funa 021. I was just worried then because I thought, am I in frame? And I was, thankfully. So yeah, just getting that in there. So yeah, I was a bit disappointed with myself because during the Easter I was supposed to sort out all my colouring stuff and crafting stuff from the crafting days you know the journaling art journaling days and things and I got very little done and I just do not know where the time went 
Now the third colour is 023. So yeah, all the pencils that I've used um, on this paper in this book has been, they've all been fine for me. So I'm just putting this in places, particularly the edges of the branch, just to give a little bit of contrast and leave the light bits showing. That's it. So yeah, I, I do like these brute funas or brutes. Go back to the lightest colour now and I'm just going to go over with it. So the zero two zero. And there we go, just over it like that. Lightly, not pressing too hard. Just to merge it again. It's a nice and oily so blends good. Okay, so that's that. Um, now what to do next? So what I'm going to do next is, um, I haven't even fully decided, I know what I'm going to do next. So I'll come back in a sec. Okay, so now I'm just going to add a bit more pencil but on camera I'm going to show me using the Crayart. So I'm going to use the Crayart if I'm in camera here, where are we? There we go. 066, 006 and 041. For some of the um, sort of greenery, you know, like these bits here with sort of plant-like things coming off. Um, so I'm just finding those now. So yeah, we're going to start with the lightest colour again and I'm going to do these. Now, Many of the other little bits that I'm going to do, such as, you know, these little points here and stuff, um, I'm just going to do them in any sort of colour combinations that I can find. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm sharing the main things and there's quite a lot in terms of what I've um, shared, what I've used. So, this is just... <coughs> using excuse me using the um crayouts now they go down so nice and smooth they are really nice to use on this paper that's what i think anyway that's my view <coughs> i don't know what's happened to my throat suddenly okay so just putting the dark color in now right now so like i say i hope you don't mind um for the other little bits and pieces <coughs> what i'll do is um just probably use pencil just a little pieces just use pencil and um or gel pen to, to do those so now what i want to do is focus on the um, other parts and you know I'm going to use other media now so I'll come back in a second okay so now we're going to go on to using the other media because I think you've seen enough pencil work so the first thing is I've got the water here and on top of it so this is where I add all the you know the fun bits the pizzazz bits for my pictures so on the water of the sea I'm going to use I've already activated this by putting some water on it and letting it thicken up so I've got the stardust I think this is from the candy collection so this is the fine tech Colero paint you can actually buy these individually from a place online called paper story or indeed from Jackson's art but they, I found that they are cheaper, open stock on um, Paper Story. So there we go, get that in there for you, a little bit closer. And what I'm going to do is, this is a lovely glittery paint. I've had this for a while, but I haven't used it much. Um, and it's just, just a glitter overlay, basically. So I'm just going to, I think that'll look nice on the water. So I'm just going to put that on here. And just spread that over basically because um, these are quite oily pencils there is a little bit of resistance there but it's not too bad it'll still go on 
little bit more water. I hope you can see that, so it's going to make it nice and shimmery, which is the look that I am after. And that hopefully won't take long to dry. So yes, yeah, so you can still see the blue. It's just made it um, shimmery. I'm just going to let that dry a little bit. Okay, the other thing that I want to do, so that's that. Maybe I shouldn't have done that first because I don't want to go over it, as in I don't want to put my hand in it. Um, the next thing I want to do is, you know, these mountain tops that you can see, I don't think they're quite, I mean, you can see that I've put Colero Blue Pearl paint on there. I don't know if you can sort of see that. But um, it, when it catches in, it's like you can see, see the pale blue colour. But what I'm going to use is another paste. So this is a Cosmic Shimmer Sparkle Texture Paste. The Moon one was the Lunar Paste, so that was just shiny without no glitter. Whereas this one is the one with glitter in it, and there's different you know types you can buy this one is the icicle blue sparkle um, these are available on Amazon so this is what it looks like I'm just going to take a brush usually I uh, um, usually I um, apply it sometimes well most of the time with my finger but because this is only in a small area I'm just going to use a brush so I hope you can um, see that they're going on. Shall bring you in a little bit more and then move my book there. So when I hold it in the light you'll probably be able to see it a little bit better. So yeah just a bit of a sparkle because we like sparkle on this channel so yeah just going on there and just adding it there are other versions of this available so there's um oh gosh I can't remember the names but there's a viola sh viola chic which is like a light violet um you know light purplish colour and there's um there's a really nice one which is a, like a multicolored glitter as well so yeah there we go that's it and just taking off the excess okay so that's that I think I am uh, happy enough with that. I'm just going to clean my brush off very quickly. Put that away. And then now, what I'm going to do now is, if I can shut it, gosh, come on. Right, there we go. Okay, so now what I want to do is um, work on, I'll just bring you out a little bit, basically these bits here that you can see which is like a cutout of the island um, that's how it looks to me and this looks like a bit of a cave now instead of making it dark and black because this is a fantasy place or at least it is to me I'm going to do those bits in a paint and the paint I'm using is from Etsy it's by Renaissance Colours which are handmade watercolours and I'm going to use this colour which is called Fortune you can get these individually so I'll just show a little bit of me doing it on camera it's absolutely beautiful paint look at that, gorgeous um, to show you a little bit of me doing it on camera and the rest I'll do it off camera but can you see that it's just beautiful I mean I don't know what else to say about it apart from it being amazing Um, 
I'm so glad I discovered that shop on Etsy. So yeah, I am just going to apply that in these areas because um, I just thought to myself that I haven't really added in as much metallic paint as I usually do so so yeah so you can just see all the gorgeous glitter and shine sometimes I do go over it with a second coat if I feel it needs it. It doesn't always need it. So yeah, I'm going to do the rest of that and this bit here in the Fortune um, paint. Okay, so I'll come back in a bit. Okay, so I'm back and I've completed the adding the beautiful Fortune metallic paint there. You can see it just looks gorgeous. Um, and then what I did is I used my, as I usually do, I used my Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen Black in the small, which is the point three um, you can obviously use any other type of similar pen which is waterproof and um, I coloured the steps in black and then I went over all the details because the black line fades out with metallic paint or metallic gel pens so now what I'm going to do is attempt to um, let me just show you you know these steps that you can see here these little steps I just thought that um, before I put the gel pen stuff um, onto um, you know the parts of the picture that I'll add the glitter because um, when I add gel pen or even particularly glaze pens like these Sakura glaze pens um, and then I add loose glitter it sort of sticks to those parts and I don't really want it to stick to the parts I don't want it to stick to so how I do this is I usually use I've got I've got this um, glitter. I usually use the Nouveau glitter glitter brand or, or the Finna Bear. So this is the Nouveau Mirabol uh, Pure Sheen glitter, which is available from Tonic Studios online, or you can also find it on Amazon. Um, probably one of my favourite glitters, this this particular one. And then I'm going to use a quickie glue pen just to um, you know stick it on. So um, I'm just going to do this top bit here. You can see. And I might bring you in a little bit. Oops, there we go. So all I do is I get this ready, so I'm going to open it. And then I have a bit of paper ready as well. Put the loose glitter on. Or the excess, shake the excess off basically. And I'm just going to check that my glue pen's okay. Hopefully get it making sure that it's running. So I hope this works okay. So yeah, all I'm doing is adding the um, glue to the parts where I want my glitter, loose glitter to go. And the reason I'm adding loose glitter and not stickles is, well gives a smoother finish but I just wanted to and it gives I don't know it looks brighter than a glitter glue so I don't know but I just get that impression um, but I love stickles don't get me wrong I mean I, I'd still use stickles for certain things so anyway I'm gonna put on this top bit I started doing the bottom bit didn't I so let me just do that and I just shake it on top and then now I'm going to move this up so you can see the bottom bit I'm gonna do that as well I've already gone through over some of the steps, but you weren't in frame, which is my fault, naughty. So yeah, just go in there. It has taken me a while to do this picture, but um, as long as the end product is worth it, then, you know, I like it, I'm happy with it, then to me that's definitely worth it then. So yeah, just pop this on. I mean, look how gorgeous that! And I, I must get some more of this mirror ball because it's my favourite glitter. I think so. Move you out a little bit, or a lot, a lot a bit, a lot of. Oh gosh, forget it. 
just forget it. Right, so there's my loose paper and I just shake it onto there, give it a flick and then put my book to the side because I've not got too much space to work in here but I can't complain, it's still good. And then I just put the excess back in the um, back in the bottle. Can't waste the glittery goodness. No chance. Right, so there we go. And I'll just show you it. See what you think. Um, bring you in a little bit. And yeah, there we go. Look, there's the steps. I'm happy with that. Now, the next stage is to just add glitter glaze pens, which is what I usually do. So, like, for example, on this lighthouse, I'm going to use my Sakura Jelly Roll Glaze. I'm just going to use yellow for the window. Just go over it. So this is just a fun bit, really. Um, I might give that one a... I really like adding... Um, gel pen accents and then this is an orange one orange glaze I just wanted to make it bright really um, so yeah I mean you can use whatever colors that you love to use in your gel pens and glitter pens etc so this is just the glaze that I'm adding in places. I'm also going to add for these bits here that you can see, bring you in a bit closer, for these leaves I'm not going to use glitter gel pens because they've already got a shiny um, metallic background and I think it'll get lost a little bit so what I'm going to use is the glaze pens. So I'm going to use these shades of green and just mix it up a little bit really just um, hope you can see yep so yeah just randomly add them I think my style of coloring is just it's not sophisticated it's not really, it's not sophisticated or you know like I'm a great pencil artist I wish one day that my pencil art improves so I think it's okay but it's nothing special but I think my strength lies in just um, at the moment anyway in just um, sort of having fun and using lots of different things that I've blessed enough to have um, and just have fun with it that's my that's how I view my colouring style is just fun and um, you know an enjoyment process so yeah these are just three different glaze pens that I'm using because I don't really want glittery next to glittery because I think it'll lose the um, effect or impact, it'll have less impact on the eyes. Okay, so that's that. Um, then if we were to come back down here, what I'm going to do is... Um, right, let's see. I'm going to have this Pentel Dual Metallic Hybrid. So you're getting to see basically how I create my pages really is as an example. Uh, so there we go. I really like the Pentel um, gel metallic hybrids but the RTs, the iridescent gel pens are beautiful as well. They, they're lovely. Probably those two brands are my favourites in terms of gel pens so that's the gold and then I might do let me think um, right I think I'm going to do these leaves here in sort of some in the the um, is it the mild colours of the Pentel Joel Metallic Hybrid and also a glaze so let's go back down
just to give a bit of variation really and not do it all in glitter so they all you know that so it looks a little bit like there's a variety I don't know it just has better effect when you use slightly different media if it's all the same colour so I'm just trying to get my gel pen going there so I just tap it on its tap it against the table I do Okay, um, maybe another purple. So I'm going to use this. It's called um, it's the flare glitter extra sparkle. Put that here. Probably the darkest purple there is. There we go. Right. So what I'm going to do when I go off camera is I'm just going to continue. Um, with adding gel pens to the remaining bits that are left just you know in the colours I think are appropriate then I'll come back and show you the final piece okay so I'm nearly done the only thing I think I've got left to do is this sail here so I thought I would use again go back to the Renaissance paints and this is the West End 2 collection and I'm going to use the Adelphi which is this beautiful purpley um, sort of purpley bluish colour um, so I'm just going to do that bit on camera and then I'm going to pan out and show you the final piece so yeah I hope you have um, enjoyed this um, sort of colouring colouring and colour and chat or um, sort of a colour along for the main bits I know I didn't show every single like you know every single thing but I did the main bit so I hope it was useful um, at least and you know I tried to show some different techniques and just my process really and how I how I do stuff so I really do hope it was it was of some use um, and that you liked it There we go. So that's that side of the sail. Um, so yeah, on black paper it looks quite... Actually, I can see that it looks purple, yeah, in one angle and then bluish in another angle. But these paints are just gorgeous. Um, I'm going to try to get as many paints from there over time as possible because they're lovely. Right. Okay, so yeah, these fine brushes, I wouldn't be able to do any of this without these fine brushes. They're from Amazon, um, and I think it's called a miniature paint brush set, um, and they're sort of thick in the middle, or the handle, sorry, the handle is thick in the middle. So it's quite easy to um, to sort of handle. Yeah, so the handle is quite easy to handle. Right, okay. Right then, so I think, if I'm not mistaken, I've missed a bit. I think I might have missed a bit, so let me go back in. There, just need to put it all the way to the edge. Just wipe my brush. Okay, I think that is it. I'm going to put my paint to the side. <coughs> I know that paint is still a bit wet but it's fine so this is what my page looks like finished page <clears throat> I'm just going to bring it up very carefully so I can show you everything so um, I hope you can see the northern lights or how I've done it anyway I think it's pretty a pretty good technique um, I like this I, I, I do I am impressed with it I do like it um, yeah and happy how it's come out so yeah you'll see this at the end of my April pages as well so hope you've enjoyed this little mini colour along or part three parts I don't know if you call it mini and um, yeah until next time take care bye